do like tinted pictures, but you feel limited on what your apps can do on your phone and things, let me show you an option for the 16 million choices of colors. We're back in Photo P. And this is my classroom. This is what it was before I left the classroom. And okay, it's nice, but what happens if you want to give it a feeling? And so first thing you got to do is just like we did in that last short I did for you guys, you got to make it grayscale. To do that, image adjustment and down to desaturate at the bottom. Or you look, there's a keyboard shortcut for it. Command Shift U or capital U. Makes it grayscale. Don't forget that step. You got to make it grayscale. Then you're going to go to image adjustment color balance or press control B if you're on your computer. You have, to, you have to go through the menu if you're on your phone. But now you can give it choices. Now, I'm not going to make it sepia like I did the last time, but what happens if I want to make it feel set? Let's move this down out of the way just a little bit. And I can add a little bit of cyan, a little bit of blue, and that changes the feeling. Okay, go here, you go here. There's that sepia. But what happens if I want to give it a purple? Now, don't go crazy. You're not making it look like we went to Chernobyl and we got some radiation. No, but if that's the effect you want. And when I said there's 16 million choices, that's how many options you have. So if you really want to change the tone or the feel of a picture, you really can. You can also mix the colors together. Now, obviously, mixing some colors together is not going to be overly pretty. So be careful. Think of your color wheel if you're out there thinking of color wheels. There we go. Nice, lovely purple going on. But purple and the blue makes it more purple. Purple and yellow, not so pretty. So that's all there is to it. What you got? You push OK. You export it. It's just that easy.